shock of horror on my head. brown up here. Oh, the Welcome, How Do You Painters, to another episode of How Do You Paint with me, your host S, Kate White. You like my new Bambi shirt? Quite befitting, don't you think? I'm gonna actually take it off for the show because I don't want to get it dirty. Uh-oh. I was, tr I was trying to be sexy, like a strip tease, but I, I didn't undo this top button. So hold on one sec. And as foreshadowed, I have a little animal now, a pocket zebra. And I don't know if you're noticing, but I am changing. I am shedding um, a lot of my uh, personality defense structure and coming more into um, a heart space. Let us do the painting. Um, oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> We got to do the hunter. Now, I realized that I cannot find anywhere the preliminary sketch I had of the hunter. And I took that to mean that I am meant to do it from memory. Okay. Freehand man. You saw me do it so many times. I should have it memorized, right? Uh -huh. not scared. Has anybody got a good name for my pocket zebra? I haven't named him yet. Okay, come on, Kate. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty rough at the, at the start here. And then his, hay, his face looks like that big. And then here's his arm. Yeah. Doesn't he look like an army guy? Army green. There you go. Uh, okay, he looks hidden behind that tree. That's good. Now I'm gonna make the gun. Let's get the angle right this time. Shot through the heart and you're to blame. Bambi, you give love a bad name, bad name. I play my part and you play your game. Honey, you give love a bad name. Okay, shut up. Uh, scope, scope, bam, boom, uh. I forgot, totally forgot what the gun looks like. Sights, uh, I don't know. Isn't there another scope? There was another scope, wasn't there? Who cares? No, we need it because that's how we're gonna see his eye. His big eye through the scope. Bam. Okay, then we got the the shooter part, whatever that's called. It's all crooked. Mm, is that okay? Uh, I can straighten it out later. I'm just getting it getting it kind of blocked in. There's that. And then and then there's the trigger. And then there's wherever whatever this part is. Oh, this thing goes right there on his shoulder. The thing. The butt. Um, yeah, let it be all fucked up. Like, that's what I like. I don't know. It's weird to like something and not let yourself have it. <laughs> or do it. What is that? How does that relate to my core trauma? My desires are... Maybe it's like um, survival guilt. He's going to be pink. Because what I said. I 
might have to touch this up on my own. Won't subject you all to yet another episode of messing around with this guy's. But I, you know what? I'm kind of digging it already in that messy, awkward vibe. See? Oh, I look down and he's looking right at me with his big nose. I really like the dark green of the hills. That ended up working out. All that doing and redoing ended up really working out because it's this smudgy green is kind of picking up this smudgy green and it really does cap the painting. Okay, I really like this light coming up a little bit over the horizon accident that I'm going to capitalize upon. I'm going to lighten it up over here. Uh, uh, I'm breathing. It's not going to be that light. Don't worry. I'm just getting the, getting some white on there. That's already pretty nice, you know, that yellow. Wish I, how do I, I'd have to bring in some yellow. Well, let's see. Yeah, uh, do I bring in some yellow on this? This is the thing about acrylic. It's about to, it's drying on me already. So it's kind of like, move your meat or lose your seat. Not, not exactly. <laughs> not what it's like at all. What is it like? It's like, should we get off the pot? wondering how is that gonna work good question <laughs> I don't really know if it is uh, dry brush is a technique like scumbling you know kind of a dry a brush with just a little tiny bit of paint that you scrub on scumbling I used to hate that look and now and I was like I will never be a scumbler <laughs> not my thing I liked thick you know, Philip Gustin, like painterly paint. And then, you know, the way that this shit works is like my aesthetic preferences shifted. And now I really like scumbled stuff. Why? What does that even mean? I, I don't know, maybe nothing, but now I gotta try to somehow blend in the sky and not have the yellow and blue together make green. I guess you have to kind of make it, wait for it to dry. I don't know if this is gonna work, but is this working at all? Yeah, it is, it's gonna work. Like, it's already working there. Um, excuse me, tree, let me just step around you here. Is that all right? Thank you. Okay, I might have to fix that a little bit. So then let's go a little, oh, it's looking a little green. Hold up. Okay, see how this is working? It does look like there's light coming up over the horizon. Oh, it looks pretty, doesn't it? And it picks up a lot of the yellow in here. So good move, Kate. <sighs> Um, don't need to do too much. How's that looking? I, like I said, I'll need to scumble in there to cover a little of that, but I wanted it more of a gradient actually. So let me try going a little, lighten up this part a little bit more. Yeah, a little blend. I don't want it too blendy because I like the chunky paint a little bit still. And lighten up. Don't use thin paint. That looks weak. 
you know what? Weakness is not bad. I was so shamed by the Bambi story. Bambi being weak for wanting his mom. I mean, that was the moral of the story. I know I've talked about this before, but this has been my this has been my pro my healing process of allowing my weakness and vulnerability because it, it creates beauty. The the meek shall inherit the earth. That's really it, man. That doesn't mean they're going to run the world. Colors are going to run the world. Um, what it means is the meek, the broken ones. We are the ones who recognize the truth of our fallibility in the face of mortality. The forces beyond our control. So we're the ones that surrender to something greater. That is our salvation. It's tough though. I'm darkening it up at the top a little. Sorry, tree. Don't worry. I'll come back and give you give you your place again. I just need to come over you for a second here. Okay. Yeah. See, and this makes this pink blue line. Pop. A little more. Yeah. Oh, those are too dark. Gonna obliterate those big dark things. I don't know what happened there. Some brush malfunction okay i'm gonna leave that alone for now yeah <laughs> hey he's looking at me oh my god this is making me kind of sad about my cats but My heart is still, my heart still is functional, obviously. How did Bob Ross even stand to paint with a pocket squirrel in his pocket? God, it just must have made him so happy. I'm just bringing the branches back from getting covered by the sky. I've been doing a lot of crying lately. Um, had kind of an episode. One of my... I had, I had one of my spells. <laughs> um, was it night before last? Uh-oh, too thick. I can always come back in now and put blue around the, um, around the thick branches if I want. I can. But yeah, I was, I was in complete and utter despair. I don't even know quite why. And it doesn't really matter. It's just the feeling was there. And um, it really was the feeling of, I don't, I can't, I don't want to live. Don't worry, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> but some part of me really wanted to die. All right, now that tree looks okay. I've got to put some highlights on it, okay? I'm going to have the highlights be kind of mimic, or not mimic, I'm, uh, mirror the... Yellow low, the old yellow low. If you remember the old yellow low, he laying it down on the low. Yeah. So yeah, I wanted to die, <laughs> and um, and I think I let I think I let that part die, and I think that part was the part that like was resisting being. As in just like resisting reality. Anyway, that's not very profound or anything. That's just some therapy talk. Uh, all that is to say, I've been shedding some tears. Okay. Um, 
Maybe it's just because the state of mind I'm in, which is just flooded with love. <laughs> Don't laugh at your own jokes, Kate. And the other thing I've been noticing I do is I laugh at my own jokes. Um, flooded with love. It's not funny. I think that tree is okay. All right. That log is powerful. Well, it's bright anyway. And uh, I need it to be, need it to take a step back. I'm doing all this without glasses. Have I discovered the fountain of youth? Like, I don't feel like I need my glasses. <sighs> Have I become superhuman? Don't let it go to your head, Kate. Because you're, you're all good. Don't. Don't take it there. Be knocked back down to where you belong. So, let's see. This is where the, the lines are. Oh, now I need my glasses. See? Oh, the hubris. Okay, there. I like doing that when I put my glasses on. This is a good color, don't you think? With this painting? Kind of pinky, kind of a cool brownish, purpley brown. Kind of just seems like a weird contrast, a good contrast. It's complement to the yellow. You okay, buddy? I was falling out of my pocket. Bob Ross didn't get on the ground. That's why he was able to keep his squirrel in his pocket. <laughs> Let me try that joke again without me laughing at my own joke. Bob Ross. Bob, Bob Ross didn't get down on the ground. That's why he was able to keep his squirrel in his pocket. Isn't it better when I don't laugh? Okay, that looks fucking rad, man. God, where can I do some more of that? You know how a log, like it splits, like here's the edge, right? And then it's like, bam, and then that's the ins, this is the curve under of the log. So the bark is all along here. And this is the gut, the inside. Yes, yes. And so let's see, okay, okay. Your eye on what you're doing. Don't go on autopilot because you could fuck something up right now. This is bark. Yeah, it's looking good. Is it too purple? Uh, it's a little too purple. I'm glad I checked. It's a little too purple for my taste. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, it's a little too purple. It doesn't matter. Am I being picky picky for no reason? Ah, ooh. No, look, this is just a shade browner from that purple. I'm gonna try that. That part's really purple. But it's purple good. God, it sucks not knowing what you like. Do you ever have that feeling? It's just like, it's not, is it good? The question is not, is it good? It's like, do I like it? It's so hard to know, isn't it? Do I like it because it's right and I've been conditioned to like what's right? Or do I, or do I dislike it because it's wrong and I've been conditioned to dislike wrong things as defined by the culture? This is why painting is an act of, can be an act of liberation. All right. Uh, yeah, I, th I think maybe I'm a product of my culture and I don't like purple bark. Maybe I'm just a fucking conservative. No, radical. I like brown bark. Yeah, 
I just like brown bark. I'm sorry, but we should just keep bark brown. Bark has always been brown for a good reason. Because bark was born to be brown. God made bark brown. So that's why bark should stay brown. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> why? Why? Oh, fuck. I've been, I've been, I've been, uh, I started channeling a Karen and now it's, I'm really feeling what it feels like. It's awful. Ah! 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 It's awful. Okay, I don't, uh, colors are not operating according to Kate, you're being way too uptight. All right, so let's see. Remember my breakthrough painting of the tree with the, this is, this dibbin and dabbin is, is a thing now. It's part of my new painting language, this like brush strokes. Here's an interesting version of it. Dipping and dabbing. Whoa, I just had a deja vu. Um, my friend uh, titled this Everybody Reaching for the Same Pop-Tart. It was a fucking perfect title. That might be a new direction. That was That's the big question right now is how much do I need to tell stories? You know? I'm going to get into that on a, on a later episode because it's pretty deep and I don't feel like it's the time right now because we're probably going to need to wrap this shit up. I didn't do a lot of cover cover. I just kept moving forward. I think I was in a lot of acceptance having um, metabolized some of the shame and loathing I was holding me back. Okay. You want to see my whole pocket zebra, not just his head? You don't get to. <laughs> no, you can't. I don't know. I feel like it'll be exposing him. I shouldn't trot him out like a trick pony. I'll just leave him safe in my pocket. Okay. Say goodbye to the people. No name. Bye, everybody. Come back soon. Okay. Okay, no, sh shut up, <laughs> you stupid. You <laughs> can get back in there. <laughs> he's not He's not very good at this. Okay, I'm not either. God damn the awkward endings. They get me every time. I don't know how to end this thing. How am I gonna end the entire season? That's the real question. If I can't end a show, how am I gonna end the whole season? All right, thanks for coming to How Do You Paint? See you next time. Mm. See you next time. <laughs>